What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Holy shit, girl. It has been a minute. Sorry that I've been MIA for a week. Life has just taken its toll on me. After the fifth plane trip, you guys, I got home. Finally, it's been like such a long time. I hadn't seen my dogs in forever. And your girl got sick. I had a cold. My body was like, girl, we need some sleep. So I took a few days off and then a few days off turned into a week. So it has been crazy in the star house. We have a lot of launches coming up. I actually just did a photo shoot for my brand with Nathan. If you guys haven't heard, my next collaboration is with Nathan and my dogs, the Star Family Collection, baby. How many times can I say collection in one damn video? If you haven't heard, me, Nate, and the dogs are all doing a really cool um, bundle together and there are six liquid lipsticks. We all have our own shades. So me, Nathan, Diva, Diamond, Delicious, and Daddy, our four Pomeranians, will all bring you a brand new lipstick. And not only that, we have a brand new highlighter, a skin frost that Nathan and I created in the lab together, and we each did our own lip scrub. So Nate created his own and I created my own and they're brand new flavors that no one's ever tried before. So that will be launching in October. Besides that collection, I also have the mini Velour liquid lipsticks finally coming out. I did a sneak peek on Instagram last week, girl. My feed was blown the F up. I know you guys are really, really excited about this. So bam, this is the volume one liquid lips minis. Bam, here is the box you guys. I am so, so excited about this one. In this bundle, you get seven of the top selling shades and a new one, which is skin tight. If you all remember, that was part of the Chrome collection. It was a lip ammo. I've turned it into a liquid lip. I love this one. I've been wearing this nonstop. I just haven't been tagging it because you guys are always sneaky and you know what is up. All right, so besides all eight shades, of course, the bundle comes in this beautiful box. They are not sold separate. I know a lot of people are asking. Um, they only come in the discounted bundle, so this will retail for $52, and of course, they will be on my website, as well as Beautylish, Beauty Bay, if you're in the UK, and a lot of my retailers will be carrying this. So, September 30th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, that's 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, this baby will be out and I can't wait. Now, I know a lot of people were asking about the fill weight on these and everything about it. I'm going to be doing a separate video in the future, so let me stop running my damn mouth and let's jump into this actual swatch video. So, if you want to see me swatch a bunch of crazy ass expensive liquid lips, then keep on watching. So, I haven't filmed in a minute and I have so much makeup in front of me. My head is spinning right now. So, I thought, okay, I am such a liquid lip whore. I want to sit down and grab all the new liquid lips that I found in Sephora and online that are kind of pricey. They're in that luxury tier price of like, okay, a little expensive. Is it worth it? Is it not? So, there are four formulas here today that I'm going to be trying. Four different brands I have never tried before. Well, of course I've tried the brands, but not the formula of this particular product. So I think we should just jump right into it. Now the first brand that we're gonna test out today is from YSL Beauty. They recently just dropped these brand new um, liquid lips. They're calling them, I'm gonna botch this, you guys know, I do not know how to speak French. Tatouage? How would you say that? Tatouage mm, Couture. Tatouage, look at, see, that's what friends are for. These are the Tatouage Couture Matte Stains from YSL. The component looks something like this. Here is one of the shades. So you get the gold chrome at the top, the frosted um, kind of glass moment here. And let's give us all the tea here. To me, these look a little small, but they, but they remind me of the Chanel ones and a bunch of other brands. So the fill weight for this is 0.20 ounces, which is actually not that bad. So I have heard that the applicator for this is weird. And I like weird products. So this baby will retail for $36. There are a bunch of shades. I'm talking like, oh my God, I'm looking on the website. Girl, there's like 20 damn shades. Let's open her up and just see what it looks like. Whoa, look at that wand. I'm gonna hold up my hand so you can actually see that it is definitely like cut very thin. Look how thin that is. Woo lord. That is a very unique doe foot. I'm like, hmm, okay, this is gonna go on the lip really weird. I'm just gonna go in right now and try this. This shade is called Rose Ink. Okay, cute. Now before I put it on, let me see what this is supposed to do. Is it supposed to be long lasting? Is it supposed to stain? What the hell is going on? So on the website, it says a lightweight lip stain with a revolutionary formula for ultra matte, high impact color, and a lightweight naked lip 
feel, okay? So this formula is gonna give us a matte tattoo-like color that is non-drying, okay? High pigment, stays fresh, and is supposed to be an eight-hour wear. Hmm, that's a big claim. And the exclusive liner-like applicator allows for precision to outline and fill in the lip. Okay, it is supposed to not only not feather, it is not supposed to spill over the lip line. Girl, let's get to swatching. Okay, this has the typical YSL like rose smell if you've ever used their brand before. I think all their stuff smells like that. Not bad. Let's see what happens. Ah. Now, the pigment is a little more sheer than what I'm used to, but then as it's drying, it is full coverage. Like, we can't say it's not. Okay. And that was only one dunk. And you know, this bitch has a big mouth, so a little goes a long way. Okay, I'm a little surprised at how well this applicator worked. And at first, I was like, okay, is it kind of sheer? But as the formula's drying down, it's been like 60 seconds. Literally, it like looks nice. Now, I do want to give it another minute to dry because it's still a little shiny in there, as you guys can see. So let's give us a minute, and we'll be right back. All right, you guys, so it's been a few minutes and the liquid lip still has a tiny little shine to it, which I'm not mad at. On the box, obviously it says matte stain. Usually I'm not a fan of that type of formula, but this one is nice. So like, And it did a little bit on my fingers, not really that much, just like tiny bit of staining. I am a fan of this formula so far. I think it um, definitely is really comfortable. They said it was lightweight. Girl, it's lightweight. I love the wand on this, the doe foot, excuse me. I love the doe foot, it is very weird and unique. I kind of live for it. Now there are other colors, like I said. Today we're only gonna be trying out one color per formula, but I do wanna swatch a few. Ooh, this one's pretty. I just wanna swatch a few to see what they look like, if they are consistent. You guys know, tattoos. I mean, let's try it. Ooh. If that can cover a tattoo, you know it has pigment, so that is really pretty. All right, let's swatch one more. This one is number 11. Ooh, it's like a pretty soft nude. Let's see what she looks like. Ooh, bitch. Oh, wow. Okay, that one looks a little more streaky than the other one. A little meaning a lot. Maybe because it's a nude and it's supposed to like have your real lip color show through. Let me go over one more time. Mm. So there may be a hit or miss with the formula. A lot of times brands don't stay consistent when they have a bunch of colors. Sometimes the nudes are better. Sometimes the weird colors like the greens are streaky. So as you see, there is a little bit of weirdness with this one. Now I'm curious, I gotta try another one. Okay, let's open up one more. Rosewood Gang. And this one looks like this. Huh. Way better pigment. Why is the nude one streaky? I don't know you guys, but this one is actually really pretty. Okay, we're gonna have to use her in a tutorial. Okay, so as you see, here's what's going on. Let's move on. You guys, look at how dark my lips look. That motherfucking lipstick stain me. I'm not mad at you guys. I mean, this is what happens when you wear makeup, but this. All right, now let's try the new Smashbox Always On Metallic Mattes. They come in a little box like this, and they're actually looking very similar to YSL, which we all know Smashbox came out first, but look, here's Smashbox, there's YSL. Same height, same shape, kind of same measurements. Look, let's put them together. Smashbox is barely bigger, and Smashbox is gonna claim that they have a fill weight of 0.13 ounces. This one says 20. Oh my god. Now look, from making makeup myself, I do know that when you metallicize something or you add this metallic formula to it, there is less product for some reason. I don't know why. It's just how science works and chemistry. So these will retail for $24, which is not bad. Why sales was a little up there. Smashbox, a little more fair in the price point. So this brand is cruelty free this has there's a bunch of new shades for this well I grabbed a bunch now the ones that have been like uh, singing to my heart are these reds right here we are getting into the fall holiday season this one right here is called man eater and then this one vino noir I saw my girl Laura Lee wear this and I was like I'm gonna need that color. So I might even do a little ombre of this today. Let's see. Here, ooh, yeah. Smashbox has a really nice doe foot. It's nice and long, it's thin, it adheres to the lips very nicely, and here's what that looks like. And I might outline my lips in this and put that other metallic in the center. Let's see what happens. This formula is, of course, long-lasting, and it's supposed to stay on as well. It's called Always On for a reason. Let's see how she looks. So I'm gonna leave the center in there and just outline my lips real quickly. Now we're gonna take Maneater and put it in the middle and do a little ombre moment. 
Oh, look at that red, girl. Mm-hmm. Now I like to take a clean eyeshadow brush, or even my finger, and I will just go in and just kind of blend out the edges. And it makes your lips look very airbrushed and three-dimensional. So the formula is dry. It also feels really lightweight like the previous one. Um, I really love this color combo. I'm like dying for the metallic. I just live for the finish. It feels nice. It dried quick. Nothing's on my finger. So it is very long-lasting. It feels great. Damn, Smashbox, you better fucking work. All right, so it comes in a little box like this. And when you open this bad boy up, it comes in the component that looks like this. I love the fade. I love how Guerlain packaging looks. It's very cut and pretty. It looks very royal. Now, this is going to retail for $32. It is up there. And this is supposed to be a creamy velvet lip color with intense pigments and lip friendly ingredients. Creamy like a gloss and pigmented like a lipstick with a stunning matte finish. Okay, so it's probably going to dry down matte. It is easy to apply and it has a highly pigmented, long lasting, plumped Look, I'm down for that, baby. This formula incorporates hyaluronic acid and tiger grass to moisturize and smooth for comfortable wear. This brand only launched seven colors. Um, girl, I was expecting like 20, come on. But there's a bunch of colors. So we have nudes, we have reds. I just got all seven, you guys. So I'm like, you know what? Let's see what, it, what I'm in the mood for. We can do this red one. Let's try it. I've had so much red on my mouth, though. I'm scared. Let's do a nude, you guys. Let's do a nude. This one is called Charming Beige, and it looks like this. So this has a fill weight of 0.23 fluid ounces. Now when you open it up, it looks like this. Okay, so another kind of flat doe foot. It is a little on the smaller side, which I don't mind at all. Love it. It looks velvety. Oh, smells very fresh. Almost smells like, like skincare, honestly. Here we go. Here is the color Swatch. Now this formula was very creamy, very pigmented. Right away it felt good. It was probably the easiest one to apply. I don't know why. The formula just kind of like glided on my mouth and bam. Here we are a few seconds later. It's moisturizing. It feels really good. It's still another lightweight formula. I can't believe we are testing all these brands and three of them so far out of four have been very like hydrating and lightweight. I feel like I've said that word so many times, but it just doesn't feel like there's really much on my lips. Love the color. Um, it feels really good. Another A plus. I'm a little shook. Now we're going to try our fourth and final brand. Oh God, help me. All right. So this one is from the brand Charlotte Tilbury which has had a lot of hits and a lot of misses on this channel. This is her formula for a liquid lip, and this is the Hollywood Lips. What is this supposed to do? First of all, the fill weight is 0.24 ounces, which is pretty good. I like the component, the rose gold is cute. Her logo with the design, you have the little window so you can see the color, of course. The illusion of filler. Oh wow, this is gonna give you wider lips in one easy application. It says it, it will appear that your lips will be looked at through a hyper real Filter. The crescent applicator is designed to mimic the natural curve of your mouth. Okay, we have, we have, we have to pull that out and look. It has anti-aging sea lavender as its active ingredient with a combined firming and plumping action that makes it a great natural solution for slowing down the sides of aging. Sign me up. It also has a long wear finish with beeswax to prevent it from being dry so you have moisture that is supposed to leave your lips baby soft. That's a lot of claims. Let's get to swatching people. So we're gonna open this bad bitch up and, oh, it is curved. Okay, let me hold up my hand so you guys can really see. So there is the curve and you see the full turn. Okay, I mean, my mouth's so pink. Let's just try on this color. Screen Siren. Let's give her a whirl. Here is the color Swatch. So here's the thing. This is the best smelling one out of all four. I love how it smells. The color, beautiful. Only con I have is that the formula is a little more like gummy and thick. So we're really gonna zoom in here. You can see how the formula is very thick. See, I'm just gonna put a little bit on the edge. Trying to line the lips, it was a little bit um, harder than the other three. So that was my only con with this one, but the payoff looks beautiful. I love a blue-based red like this, especially with blue hair. It's stunning. I'm feeling like a mermaid. Oh, oh, oh yeah, I forgot I had a highlight right there. Damn, what's up, Kurt? You're looking snatched. All right, we have tried 
four colors. My mouth is tired. Let's get to my final thoughts. All right, you guys, so we tried out YSL, we tried out Smashbox, Grillon, and Charlotte Tilbury, and I gotta say, all four formulas worked. Like, there's no if, ands, or buts about it. All of them have their pros and their cons, but overall, they were really consistently great, which is kind of shocking because when you pick four luxury brands, there has to be a dud in there, but there's not. I'm sitting here like, girl, I wanna not like something, but there's nothing to not like. Okay, let's just start from the top here. Grillon was creamy, great, and beautiful. And Charlotte Tilbury, of course, we just tried that. Love it. Oh, here we go, though. It said eight-hour wear. Damn, girl, that finger is... And I've had this on for minutes now. I did not dry all the way down, but the coverage, though, is so pretty. Um, I could definitely overlook it. But if you want something really long-lasting, I would go with Smashbox. And YSL, obviously, it stained my lips. I'm probably gonna have that pink shade on my mouth for, like, a week now. But um, overall, what is my favorite? Smashbox is the winner. This formula, now I've tried the Pure Mattes. Stunning, this metallic blew me away when they dried down. There was no um, transfer. They're beautiful, there is a lot of shades, there's a lot of colors I didn't even swatch, of course, today. We got purples, we got browns, I'm, I'm down. I'm literally gonna log in and buy every damn color. Oh, and Smashbox was actually the cheapest at $24. I don't even know if I said this price point, $34. This was 36, and then these were in the 20s. Smashbox, 24 bucks for something that actually works with a lot of um, different colors. I think that's the winner, people. Thank you so much for watching this video, and all right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this. I'll see you on the next one. Mwah.